Hey, what is up spies? My name is Daniel and today I have a PC build that is a mini ITX PC build. In other words, uh, if you don't know what that means, it is a tiny motherboard size and tiny case size. So, holy shit. Okay, never mind. Um, so you'll be able to use this for LAN parties. It'll be extremely portable. If you just want to fit it somewhere small, uh, you could do that. Uh, really, you could do a lot of things with this case. Um, you could use it as a Steam machine, actually. If you just mount the OS on it, and you can get it for a little bit cheaper, but I'll move into why later. Um, I'll start off with the case. For the case, we have the BitPhoenix Phenom. Uh, black steel, plastic, mini ITX computer case. Uh, very good case. We'll be able to fit all of our parts. Looks very good, in my opinion. It's kind of a love-it-hate-it -it type of deal. Um, a lot of people don't like this case. Anyways, it came out like, what? Uh, a week and a half ago now, maybe a week ago. Very good case in my opinion. Moving on to the motherboard, we have the Asus P8Z77i Deluxe LGA1155 Intel Z77 motherboard. Um, yeah, that's very. it's a very good motherboard. It has a built-in Wi-Fi card. Uh, obviously not a great one, but if you're going to take it to LAN parties, you can definitely do that, as I said before. Uh, you can add another Wi-Fi card to it. Let me see the PCIe. Um, actually, I don't know. You may just have to do it with that card, but it should be fine. Uh, it should be everything you need. Um, yeah. It's got enough for the RAM that we're going to be holding. It's got uh, enough for the graphics card that we're going to be holding. Everything in this build seems to be fine with this motherboard. Uh, it also does have Ethernet, obviously. But... For the power supply, we have a Corsair HX Series HX750 750 watt power supply. Um, this is a very good power supply. We'll have overhead for everything we need to put in this build for sure. So you don't have to worry about whether or not it will be able to um, house all of your parts and everything. Moving on to the processor, we have an Intel Core i5 3570K Ivy Bridge 3.4 gigahertz. 3.8 gigahertz turbo, uh, LGA 1155 77 watt quad core desktop processor. Uh, this is a very good processor. The only decent mini ITX motherboard that I could find um, was LGA 1155, so you have to go with this motherboard instead of the um, 4670K. But nonetheless, this motherboard is awesome, or this CPU, sorry, is awesome. So it should do just fine. Uh, actually, I am going with the stock cooler with this build, but you can add in like a Hyper 212 Evo or whatever you want and do some slight overclocking. Honestly, you could probably push it up to 4 gigahertz uh, even with the stock cooler. I wouldn't recommend it, but you know, um, you could choose what you want to do from there. And for the RAM, we have the Corsair Vengeance 8 gigabytes, eight, uh, which is two sticks of 4 gigabytes. Um, 1600 megahertz desktop memory. 8 gigabytes is really all you need, to be honest. Uh, next gen consoles and everything have it in a pool, you know, a memory pool and everything. Um, but since your graphics card will have its own GDDR5 memory, this will be more than enough. So, yep. For the graphics card, I had to do a little bit of research here. But uh, I went with the Gigabyte GTX 770, um, 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM. Uh, it's a very good card. has the best cooling of any GTX 770, in my opinion. Um, I'm actually looking to buy this soon enough. I've been saving up for it for a while. But anyways, um, this card actually will fit in your case, believe it or not. It's a huge card, but it will fit. I did some research on case dimensions and graphics card dimensions, but yeah. Um, also, I got you guys a Samsung, Samsung, sorry, 